solemnly We put you loud I need you loud I'm still young In Africa, liberation of the spirit through music is all that many of its people cling on to. Progress Chipfumo is one of them. He has poured the pain of his life into the beauty of his music. He grew up in an orphanage with none to turn to. Last year he was even asked to leave the orphanage because at 19 he was too old to qualify for care. During these difficult years his guitar has been his only friend. I remember some time when I was sitting by myself. I talked to myself. Where is my life going? What is this thing mean in my life? Then they ring a bell which told me that it is, it is part of my body. So I used to, I often play my guitar, write my songs, write. Those songs which I write, they are about my life and other children's lives. Because I remember there are so many children who are wandering up and down the street. They've got no way to go. His guitar was bought for him by a Danish volunteer teacher at his orphanage. Now he plans to use it to feed his stomach as well as his soul. There's always one thing you can always uh, start by playing is like a 12-bar blues. And it's, it's in a basic key of where, you, where you play E. And you can just play it on, to make it the simplest possible, you can play it on two strings. Like... This is a chance for many like him. Experienced Swedish musician Stieg Asp is running a music workshop for aspiring musicians like Progress in a scheme backed by UNESCO. He is head of a project called Music Crossroads, which plans to nurture talent in 15 African countries. This stop in Bindura in northern Zimbabwe is part of a nationwide tour of country areas to tap undiscovered musicians. But what drove me is, uh, of course, it's a... Uh, what I've read and, and heard about the, the culture down here and the music, that is very exciting. There is a lot and there is, uh, they're also in need of a lot of help and experience uh, to, to continue to, to develop it. The teacher has so far been impressed by his pupils. He says he cannot rule out another Jimi Hendrix emerging from the Zimbabwean bush. I think it's very likely. I mean, I have a positive attitude, that's why I'm uh, doing it. I, I've already seen uh, talents like this uh, that, that is unbelievable, from from young girl that, that goes up and just stands and, and sings a cappella. Uh, the, the lead uh, song from this bodyguard, I think it went to Whitney Houston. Uh, where a full packed hall with four or five hundred people are just going crazy. More than a thousand Zimbabwean musicians are being instructed at this leg of the project. The idea is to instill professionalism with an emphasis on live performance, giving lessons for life. Uh, how to communicate, uh, how to to present ourselves on stage, how to hold our microphones and the like. Some will learn about drums, some about the guitars, uh, some about the vocals only. If we combine that, we can come up with a, a powerful uh, production. How to entertain the audience and how to set up the stage and not to be afraid of participating on the stage. The long-term ideal of this project is to set up a support network of musicians to keep the young and talented motivated. Right, my ambition is to be one of this country's most best musicians. And I'm longing to record so that I can earn something, I can benefit, right? So that I can lead a better life, I can look after my brothers. The future achievements of people like Progress Chipfumo is likely to determine how much reality materializes from the dream. Mm -hmm.